Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, take your Bibles and turn with me to Matthew, Matthew chapter 6, and let's look at verse number 33 as a text verse of Scripture. Now, notice what the Bible says here. But see ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. And friends, I pray that God would certainly add his great blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word today. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together, have an encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Well, friend, today I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled, First Focus. First Focus. What is it that you desire first and foremost? Is God the focus of your life? Or have other people and dreams taken his place in your heart? Friend, nothing can satisfy you as God can. So if you're struggling with feelings of doubt, feelings of anger, feelings of jealousy, feelings of fear, despair, or bitterness. It may be that you've allowed a goal or a relationship to become an idol in your life. In fact, Isaiah 26, 3 promises that you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. So when you lack God's peace, it is evidence that your focus is misplaced. Therefore, in your prayer time, ask God to reveal anything that is preventing you from experiencing his love. Be willing to let go of whatever it is that's taking place in your life and ask God to stir up your desire for him. Because when you seek God first, the blessings will come. And not only will he reveal himself to you, but he also will use you as a blessing to others. Think about this, and now let's pray together. Lord, reveal whatever has taken your place in our lives. Take your throne in our heart and be our first focus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion was a blessing to you today. And if it was, you'd be a blessing to someone else by sharing it with them. Remembering that your life is the Bible that some will read 
So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Again, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.